In this video, we will give a brief introduction to sets. A set is a collection of objects, which we call elements. This is a very broad definition, so we will restrict ourselves to only dealing with sets that are well-defined. A well-defined set is one in which the elements of that set can be easily described, and therefore we know exactly what is in the set as well as being able to determine the number of elements in that set. The following are all examples of well-defined sets, since we can easily describe these sets with a sentence, and with the proper information, we could list the elements of these sets and determine the number of elements there are. Sets that are not well-defined are sets whose objects are ambiguous, unclear, or up for interpretation or debate. For example, the set of good shows on Netflix or the set of fun vacation spots are not well-defined sets, since every person has their own idea of what good or fun means, and so there is no way to definitively narrow down exactly what elements should belong to these sets. Similarly, the set of big integers is not a well-defined set. Big may mean to be an integer over a thousand, while it may also mean to be an integer bigger than one million. Since there is no exact consensus as to what big means, this is not a well-defined set. Try determining if the following sets are well-defined or not. Remember that there is no ambiguity or confusion as to what elements should be in a well-defined set. Of the following sets, the set of negative integers, the set of counties in North Carolina, and the set of classes offered by UNCG are all well-defined sets, while the rest are not. 